excited. I am headed to Christmas Island. Uh, I'll get there next week for a week of fishing uh, through Christmas Island Lodge. And I'm super excited to, to be going. We'll be spending a few days in Hawaii beforehand. Then I'll fly down and my wife will come back here. Uh, I want to do a quick rundown of everything that I'm taking and how I'm getting it there. So I'll be taking three bags with me. Uh, the first bag is my Sims uh, rod case. I'll obviously have my rods, my reels, all my leaders and tippet in here. And I plan to carry this bag on. I haven't had a problem carrying it on in the past, so fingers crossed. The second bag is this Orbis Safe Passage wheeled duffel bag. Um, this bag is perfect size. Uh, I've been able to fit everything that I need into it. This will be my check bag. Uh, in the top of it, I have all my clothing. In the bottom of it, I have uh, other fishing stuff, boots, flies, uh, things like that, and other various stuff. The last bag, which I'll also carry on, is this Fish Pond uh, Roll Top Backpack, uh, which I really like. Uh, this will have all my travel stuff in it, electronics, um, my prescriptions, uh, all the travel related stuff, documents, things like that. Everything that I need for a travel day. This will also be the bag that I use out on the water every day uh, when I'm waiting. So let's take a look at uh, what's in the rod case. I am taking uh, six rods. Uh, a 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12. These are all rods that I've built from North Fork Composite Blanks. I am taking a 12 weight backup. This is just a TFO Axiom 2 that I was able to get for a pretty decent price. Uh, hopefully I don't have to use this, but it's a backup in case I do break my other 12 on big GTE, GTs. So the plan is 6 and 7 for bonefish, uh, 8 and 9 for triggers and milkfish, 10 for smaller trevally, and the 12 obviously for the, for the big GTs. I am taking 5 reels. Uh, I have a Nautilus 6-8 uh, uh, with a, a scientific angler bonefish line on that. Uh, that's for my 7 weight. I have a Galvin uh, Torque T8 uh, with a uh, SA Grand Slam line on it. Uh, it's for my 8 weight. Uh, for the 9 weight, I have another Nautilus. Um, this also has a SA Grand Slam line on it. And then uh, for the 10 weight, I have an older uh, Orvis uh, Hydrus uh, reel uh, with the old weird uh, drag knob that works just fine. It's got good drag. And then for the 12 weight, I've got a Nautilus Silver King with a Rio Elite GT line on it. For leaders, I am taking about five each of nine foot uh, 10, 10 pound, 12 pounds, 16 and 20 pound, and fluorocarbon. Uh, I'm also taking some Rio Hard Mono in case I need to build up leaders. I also use this for fly tying as well. I've got some stripping guards and some tape in here in case I need that uh, to protect my fingers. Uh, for tippet, uh, all four are carbon, an 8, uh, 10, 12, uh, 16, uh, 20, uh, and then I've got 40, 60, 80, and 100 in these big Rio spools. Again, all fluorocarbon um, for the abrasion resistance. So that's, uh, that's what's in the rod case, and that again, I'm carrying on uh, the plane with me. In the bottom of the duffel, I have all my other uh, fishing related stuff. So I'll start with fly boxes. So just a little box to slip in my pocket for a working box throughout the day. Uh, this uh, tacky box will be my main working box. Christmas Island specials, gotchas, other uh, bonefish flies, uh, some shrimp patterns, and then some crab patterns for, for triggers on the other side. Uh, in this uh, fly wallet is where I have all my GT flies. Uh, I have some stuff that I just purchased to get me going, so about a dozen flies there, and then another half dozen or so flies, uh, EP uh, bait fish flies. The last uh, fly box that I have is this Umqua box, so it will just kind of be my backup. Um, I'll just put backups in there and have that with me throughout the day. For uh, GoPro, uh, bug spray and bug wipe stuff. Uh, also have uh, just various things in here, like this, my saltwater pliers 
uh, some real lube, uh, nippers, things like that, just to keep them all together. Uh, I am taking a pair of Sims flat sneakers with me. I will most likely leave these behind at the lodge. Uh, seems to be something that is very appreciated by the guides. I'll also be wearing some neoprene socks uh, with integrated gravel, gravel guards. These just happen to be corkers uh, that I've had. Um, first aid kit to go in. Um, Lyline cleaning material. Back up 12 weight Rio Elite GT line. Uh, some backup uh, backing in case I get spooled and then just some omni spools with a variety of lines on here. I've got my uh, 12 weight uh, sink tip line on here. I've got a spare 8 weight line uh, as well as a, a 10 weight uh, sinking tip line as well and just a spare spool to be able to wind lines onto and off of. Uh, over here, just some snacks. I'm taking a bunch of almonds and nuts and things like that. Uh, some fig bars. I'll probably throw in some jerky as well uh, before I get going. Uh, this last big piece is my portable, my traveling fly tying kit. This is a fish pond bag. I really, really like it. And I took it to Belize on my last trip in here. I'm able to get uh, all my fly tying material that I need. Uh, to be able to be self-sufficient because Christmas Island does not have any fly shelves on them. So threads, uh, base for my vise, uh, vices in here, hooks, uh, um, beads, things like that, uh, dumbbell eyes, uh, stuff to tie uh, Christmas Island specials and other shrimp patterns, crab patterns in here, got some stuff for some algae flies for milkfish, and then a bunch of EP material, uh, markers for tying bait fish flies and then all the tools are in here along with some glue and things like that. So I really like this. It uh, makes it nice to be able to know that I can tie anything that I need or want uh, while I'm out there. In the top of my bag is where I have all my clothing. I don't want to go into too much detail there, but just want to point out a couple of things. Um, so I've got two um, packing cubes. This is uh, personal clothing for lounging around the lodge uh, when I'm not fishing. So I've got some shorts and short sleeve shirts in there uh, as well. For fishing clothes, all my fishing clothes are in here. Um, I am going with the uh, superhero look. So I will be doing the leggings and the shorts uh, together. Uh, see how that goes to prevent chafing. Uh, also have uh, my Sims hoodie, a Gills hoodie, and a Columbia PFG hoodie. I really like the Gills. It's probably my favorite of those three. The Sims that I have does not have an integrated face mask, but the other two do, and I really, really like the integrated face masks. Of course, uh, some fishing gloves, uh, some gloves uh, with integrated stripping guards. I really like those as well. I use these all the time, even when I'm trout fishing, just to protect my hands from not being sunburnt. Uh, the other thing that is in here uh, is this bag. This is the red bag, and I hope I never have to open this bag, uh, to be honest with you. This is all the oops medicine, so uh, Imodium AD is in here. Uh, the flip side of that is stool softener, uh, antihistamine, uh, things like Benadryl, and things like that are all in here. Again, never want to have to open this bag, but just in case. And all of my toiletries are in here. Uh, nothing spectacular here, nothing really uh, of interest. Uh, the one thing I do want to point out is uh, I'm taking some, some body glide to help prevent uh, uh, chafing in all of those uh, sensitive areas. And then if that doesn't work, uh, I've got some uh, diaper rash cream in here to help uh, clear all that up if shaping does occur despite uh, the tights and, and the body, body glide. Hopefully that does not happen. Of course got sunscreen and other things in there. So that is what is in the duffel bag and I have a weight limit of 50 pounds and right now I'm about 45 pounds so I'm, I'm doing good. And I forgot to mention that in the duffel as well I have a lightweight a rain jacket that will go out on the water with me. So just in case it uh, looks like there are thunderstorms uh, in the forecast. And to wrap things up, my other carry-on will be this fish pond uh, roll-top uh, backpack. 
And you can see on this side I have uh, the rod, rod holder, so I'll be able to carry a spare rod with me when I'm out on the water. Uh, be real nice. I think most people carry their 12 volt here uh, when they're not actively fishing for GTs. So uh, inside the bag, uh, just what you would expect. Uh, here's GoPro, a couple of hats, uh, one with the GoPro mount on top. And I am taking some electrolyte uh, powder. Water bottle, hydro flask, really like that for keeping water cold out in the hot sun. Uh, my Fire HD tablet, uh, travel document, passport, things like that. And then down here at the bottom, just a portable charger, uh, earbuds uh, for on the plane. This is uh, sunglasses and spare glasses in case something happens to here. I also need reading glasses to help me tie knots, so those are in here as well. And then this is all the electronic stuff. Uh, I've got a couple hard drives in here, uh, cables, uh, chargers. Uh, also have uh, the plug adapter that I need uh, for Christmas Island. Uh, they use the same plug uh, that Australia uses. I think it's a it's a Type K uh, plug. Um, good thing is I already had one from you know, my trip uh, earlier this year to, to Argentina. So uh, this is uh, the plug that uh, they use, uh, Christmas Island. The only other cool thing in here is this is new for me. This is a new Q file hub. This allows me to uh, transfer the contents of my SD card uh, to uh, a hard disk without needing a computer or anything. So I can just plug in the SD card, plug in, plug in the hard disk, and uh, just push this one button, and it'll do the transfer automatically for me. So uh, I am not taking a laptop on this trip for the first time in a long time. Spare batteries, uh, GoPro chargers, and of course a headlamp in case the power goes out. All right, so that's uh, everything that I'm taking down to Christmas Island. Of course, when I get on the plane uh, going down to Christmas Island, uh, I'll probably be wearing my flat sneakers, uh, fishing clothes, just in case uh, one of the bag goes awry. Um, but I do plan to carry on the backpack and uh, the rod case, I'll have all that with me. But uh, should something happen to the check duffel bag, I should have enough uh, if I can beg borrow uh, flies uh, to be able to at least do some, do some fishing. Um, really looking forward to the trip. Uh, super excited. I'll let you know how it all works out.